My name is uh, Shoshana Beckerman. I'm the director and founder of the Interparliamentary Coalition for Global Ethics. Uh, first, I want to thank President Constantinescu and the World Academy of Arts and Sciences, and of course, the uh, President of the Senate and this distinguished body for this um, wonderful conference, uh, which is the beginning of hopefully a new era. Um, just a little bit of a background, uh, the Interparliamentary Coalition for Global Ethics um, arose from an academic uh, really framework which was called the Global Ethics Resource Center of Touro College. Um, we went on to establish the Ethics Initiatives Consortium with uh, at least 10 or 15 uh, NGOs from around the world who are working on global ethics. Um, if you look at the term global ethics, which is in our formal name, uh, you uh, really ethics are the, distinguish, the distinguishing between good and bad um, uh, within the ethical framework and when societies can adhere to this uh, on their own, um, then you are working within an ethical framework. When ethics don't work, you have parliaments to um, formulate legislation so that the um, ethics uh, really are implemented in the society. Um, this is what led us to um, create an interparliamentary framework uh, for uh, promoting uh, legislation on ethical issues. One of the major ethical issues is uh, really what we're discussing today, um, the culture of peace, and in more in the diplomatic framework, it's the um, cultural diplomacy. Uh, we began uh, basically in the early, I guess it was uh, the year 2000 with the uh, summit at the United Nations of uh, Religious Leaders. Um, about 2,000 uh, religious leaders participated from all over the world and created a Millennium Declaration. Um, this went on, unfortunately the, there was not a formal continuation of this, but uh, we worked with some of the um, uh, NGO and United Nations leaders uh, to continue this and formed uh, eventually uh, the Interparliamentary Coalition for Global Ethics. Um, one of our uh, main, um, let's say, uh, goals is to uh, work with parliamentarians from around the world to promote legislation on these global ethics issues, which uh, right uh, now have been compacted in a UN um, Sustainable Development Goals, which are the uh, 17 uh, goals for the next 15 years. Um, we have worked very uh, closely with UNESCO uh, for including uh, the concept of the culture of peace in the Sustainable Development Goals, and this has been incorporated in what they call the Goal for Peaceful Societies, which is item 16 of the Sustainable Development Goals. President Constantinescu um, has been um, a leading uh, advocate and supporter of this in the international arena um, and has chaired some of the uh, important conferences we had. Uh, he has been um, a spokesman in the um, UN President of General Assembly mandated high-level forum on the culture of peace two years ago. Um, we also uh, had um, the uh, high-level forum on the role of parliamentarians for building peaceful and inclusive societies and countering violent extremism. Um, about two years ago, we also worked with the um, director of the UN task force to combat what the UN calls violent extremism, which in layman's term is terrorism. And we explained our um, goal for promoting national legislation for um, uh, mandating uh, the uh, education for the culture of peace on all levels of education. And uh, fortunately, this was included in the working paper, in the UN working paper to combat uh, violent extremism as preventative education. We uh, hope that with the uh, establishment of this new uh, institute, we'll be able to bring uh, this to a more uh, global level um, and really bring in a, a new era. And we hope that all of you participants uh, will be involved and um, bring this to the youth um, and hopefully create um, a new perspective and um, new challenges for the future. 
Uh, one of the main areas, if um, uh, Mr. Jacobs touched on technology, is to combat um, incitement for violent extremism and social media. And we hope that with the development of a curriculum, uh, which can be used in each uh, different nation according to its uh, national identity and needs, um, the youth and adults will have tools to combat incitement for um, violent extremism. And um, we finally will have um, a, a new era uh, to look forward to. So thank you very much, and we look forward to success 